The city is such a big place. Look at all the streets on this map. And none of them are named after mice. What do you mean? There's a Rabbit Lane, Beaver Avenue, Magpie Crescent, but no mice anywhere. See what I mean? <laughs> I wonder why. Do you know? It's not fair. Cities are made up of hundreds of streets. They're like veins carrying traffic in, through, and around. 200 years ago, this street could have been part of a field or a forest. Now, the ground is covered in asphalt, several layers of it. How did it get that way? When people traveled by horse, the roads were made of dirt or gravel. Then along came the automobile. Driving around was fun for a while, until motorists got tired of breathing in all the dust. They asked for smoother roads that would take them to places fast. And so, we started putting a road system together. The idea of building good roads was nothing new. Thousands of years ago, the Romans had paved their highways. In the early days, we didn't have much road-building machinery, but there were plenty of shovels. Coal tar was used to keep the dust down. If they ever stopped moving, would they stick to the road? I don't think so. Today, a machine would do that job. Now, we can tear up and put down roads very quickly. Highway engineers are always trying to make them better. Good roads are expensive to build. They have to stand up to a lot of wear and tear. In winter, there's ice and snow, salt and heavy blades of snow plows. When the snow melts, it leaves ruts and potholes. Fully loaded buses and trucks are hard on roads, too. After a few years, they wear deep grooves in the asphalt. Around big cities, there are hundreds of kilometers of road. Sometimes all we can do is patch up the worst spots. These days, we have good roads. The engineers try to make them even better. They test the road surfaces. Can a truck stop quickly on this kind of asphalt? Will the road stand up to heavy traffic? The engineer watches to see how quickly a rut forms. Even the highway paint is checked. How soon does it dry? And will it come off easily? This paint failed the test. In the old days, I guess they didn't worry so much about the roads. 60 years ago, people stayed in town more, probably because good roads ended at the city limits. But now, trade between our cities has grown, and more attention must be paid to the highways. On our busiest roads, we use concrete, some concrete is being tested here under pressure. Today, there are many ways to build a road, and we keep trying to find better ones. Can you guess what this truck is doing? It's examining the surface of the highway. The numbers on the screen tell the engineer how rough the road surface is. It's a fast way to find out if the highway needs to be fixed. Roads are okay, but I really like bridges. Bridges? Never give them much thought myself. 
Bridges are like, like sculptures. You could say that. A very large sculpture. Bridges are among the biggest things we build. This one is being twinned. A new bridge is going up beside the old one. A solid foundation is put in first. Pumps keep the water out. The piers hold the road up. They're built on top of the foundations. Each pier has a cap. Into the cap goes a big steel cage. Looks like a boat, doesn't it? The cage fits right in. Concrete is poured over it. The piers are all being built at the same time. Now, the workmen are going to start making the road. The road sits on steel girders. Today's big bridges are nearly all made with steel. The road is laid down on top. This bridge is going up on both sides of the harbor. It'll soon be time to join the two sides together. Big bridges are planned very carefully. They must be able to sway when the wind blows hard and expand or get bigger when days are hot. They can't be crooked either. The sections of the bridge must all be in a straight line. The last few pieces are lifted into place. The road is smoothed out. And the bridge will soon be open. I think that bridge is a work of art. Yeah, well, you would. You know, I worry about him sometimes, I really do. If you were building a new road or bridge in your town, where would you put it? And why? Most roads and bridges have names. Can you think of a good one for yours? 